What about you, Southern Light? The youngest senator in history. On track to be the first female president. You gotta be at least 30 to be in the Senate. Not in that world, you don't. Yeah. Shame you're not ambitious. I don't know, Connecticut. I'm from Chicago. Yeah. Which suburb? The fourth challenge is to take back our streets from crime, gangs, and drugs. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another Snowfall video if you're new. If you love Snowfall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your comments below. Now, today I will be talking about Snowfall Season 3, Season Finale, The Aftermath. Um, now, before we talk about that, I want you guys down in the comment section. Let me know. Let the people know. What do you think? Was the young lady in the last episode supposed to be based off Hillary Clinton? Now, I put this these clips in there because I, seen, I had a lot of subs pretty much telling me that, hey, that's Hillary Clinton. She went to Yale. She's from Chicago. Um, it was basically based off her. So, like I said, you guys let me know down in the comment section. Was that Hillary Clinton? Was a lot of similarities. I will tell you that. A lot of similarities. So, um, I know the time frames ain't right because I know Hillary Clinton went to school at a different time. And this show is based off in the 80s. But at the same time, it is just TV. This was just a dream. So, like I said, down in the comic section, let me know why you think this is Hillary Clinton or why not. But let's talk about it, man. The season finale, the aftermath, the backlash. We had a lot of people upset. We had a lot of people that actually liked the season finale. And I'm going to talk about it, give you my opinion on this season finale. Now, I like the episode. Don't get me wrong. The episode was very solid. Um, now, what I did here was they actually scrapped the original season finale and they wanted to pay tribute to John Singleton. Now, I don't know if that's 100 percent true or not, but that's just what I heard. They wanted to just scrap it and pay that tribute. As we saw in the season finale, it was a tribute to John. We saw that um, with this alternate reality, a dream or whatever. So be it. Now, I think the problem was this. We got two back-to-back -back bangers episode eight and episode nine was crazy and i'm talking about that's must see tv right there they gave us these two episodes i mean after we saw episode eight i know a lot of people were just like it's no way it's going to get better and then they hit us with episode nine. Oh my god i was like okay i see what time it is and i think that's what caught a lot of people um off guard because we was hit with those two great great episode so we was all hyped up for the season finale we wanted to see exactly what happened to melody we wanted to see what was going to happen with man boy leon and everything we wanted to see the aftermath which we really didn't get to see like that they gave us about 20 minutes of the aftermath but we still didn't get to see what we really wanted to see and that was the war between man boy leon we know the supply was low once uh franklin was shot and we wanted to see exactly what happened. Now, they showed us a little bit, but I would have liked if they would have just gave us that episode. And, you know, and I know I talked about how I didn't think they would give us an episode with Franklin in the hospital. But to be honest with you guys, I would have rather took that episode, have him in the hospital, and they could have just showed us what was going on on the streets and how everything unfolded once he got shot. I would have loved to see that, in my opinion. You guys let me know. What do you wanted to see? Do you want to see how everything unfolded with the war, with the gangs and everything like that, how it all broke off and, you know, or was you just cool with it how it was? Like I said, me personally, I did want to see how everything unfolded. I didn't want to kind of give a, just a little glimpse of what happened because to be honest with you guys, when they show Scully and they show Man Boy shooting, at, shooting uh, in that car, the, man, that scene was powerful. And they had Jerome walking out there. That was some shit I wanted to see. I mean, I know some people were saying that, you know, they can't always be action packed in the season finale. They got to be different, which is very understandable. I know um, sometimes you got to have a different approach when it comes to season finales. You got to make the fans want more. But as I told you earlier, 
we got so much from episode eight and episode nine. It had the majority of the fans so hyped up for the season finale in it. It was pretty much a what if dream, which I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't knock them for doing that. Um, my only thing is if they were going to do that, I personally, and this is just my opinion because I know some people, they be taking this shit serious, but I personally just wish that what if dream would have been in a different episode, probably the first episode or something. And then we could have got the aftermath of what happened once Melody shot Franklin. I, that's all I really wanted to see. I didn't really want to see a what if because the what if doesn't really play into the show as far as what is happening now. It's a what if. But that's just my opinion. I know I know they had a lot of different things going on in that dream or whatever, but everything that was in that dream pretty much, you know, Franklin was going to pretty much be screwed either way, the way they was pretty much showing us. And like I said, I would rather have saw the aftermath. You guys let me know, though, man. Did you want to see that dream? Was it cool? Like I said, I had no problem with the, the alternate reality. I just wish it was in a different episode but that's just my personal opinion and the last thing um you know a lot of people want me to do a second recap on the episode but i'm not really gonna get that deep into it because i'm not gonna touch up on a what if now if it was actually stuff that was you know happening in the present then i would have talked about it a little bit more but i don't really want to go into debt i kind of just like i talked about hillary clinton maybe that's her and that's probably about it i don't really want to go back and talk about a whole lot of different stuff in that what if dream but besides all that what do you guys think about teddy and franklin now i saw some people i saw some comments people was very upset um with his decision some people said and now this is not me some people was actually saying well his decision is you know that doesn't really make sense because you're pretty much going back to agreeing to destroy the community by letting drugs plug the community so how is that going to change anything I read that in the comment section. People didn't really agree with what Franklin is doing. Some people thought it was stupid because they don't think he can save the community at all. He helped destroy it. And they think him going back, doing the exact same thing, funding the war, helping Teddy is pretty much going to make everything worse. You know what I'm saying? So what do you guys think of that? And honestly, I do not think Teddy can be trusted. Still, they made us wait. Because they knew Teddy was not going to shake Franklin's hand. They want us to be hyped for season four. Um, and they want us to just have all type of, uh, type of predictions for what we think is going to happen. But what do you guys think is going to happen? Can you think, I mean, do you think that Teddy and Franklin are going to work this out? I mean, he's pretty much working with the CIA um, with Teddy knowing that he knows. And that's something else that we did see in the season finale. Do you think that's a smart idea for Franklin to do? Technically, I mean, if you was if I was in a position of Franklin, I mean, I guess because even if Franklin would have if Franklin, in my opinion, would have said, you know what, I'm done with the game and just move away. I think with a guy like Teddy, you can't just go. You know, I feel like Teddy was going to make sure everybody's put away. But Franklin, he felt like he needed to make that connection and make a business uh, connection with Teddy and tell him, like, look, we both can just ride out on the sunset when it's all is over. So maybe that was his approach. Who really knows? But all I know is this season four. I can't wait. I mean, overall, this was, in my opinion, the best season of Snowfall. I know a lot of people was upset with the season finale and got a lot of backlash. But at the same time, it was a lot of people that was happy with it. I did the little poll on my page and the majority of the people actually loved the season finale. So it did get some good uh, feedback from the fans. So. At the end of the day, man, it's still a great show. We still going to come back for season four and support it. But leave y'all predictions, man. Leave y'all predictions down below. Did y'all really like the whole dream uh, type of episode? Do you think that was Hillary Clinton? And also, would you rather have saw the aftermath of what happened with man boy Leon, Jerome, Scully, um, everything that was going down where Franklin was out? Would you rather have saw that instead? But leave everything down below and I will continue to bring you snow, more snowfall content in the future. But it's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.